here we are solving the problems on checking the given system which is described by the impulse response of the LTA system as memoryless, causal or stable. So question is here is the following are the impulse responses of LTA systems determine each of the system is whether it is memoryless or memory causal or non-causal stable or unstable. Here I have taken four continuous and four discrete time systems. That is first one is h of t is equal to that is h of t is equal to 3 into del of t. To say it is memoryless any system is said to be memoryless if it satisfies the condition h of t equals to 0 when t is 0 and when this condition is satisfied, the system is said to be memoryless. When this condition does not satisfy, the system is said to be not memoryless or a memory system. Here, this h of t is, this exists only at t is equal to 0 because del of t value is 1 when t is 0. And so your answer is h of t is equal to 3 when t is 0. And system is, this system is, that is, memoryless system. It is the memoryless system. Next, to say it is a causal or non-causal. Any system is said to be causal if it satisfies the condition h of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0. That means this signal impulse response of that system should not exist to the left hand side. Here it exists only at 0 and the system is said to be causal. Okay. Similarly, to say it is stable or unstable, that is to find we have to find out that integral of minus infinity plus infinity models of h of tau into d tau if this is less than infinity then the system is said to be stable otherwise system is said to be unstable here now this is you can this is 2 3 into del of t is there it is integral of minus infinity to plus infinity 3 into del of tau into d tau since it exists only at 0 answer here it is 3 this is less than infinity and the system is stable okay similarly let us take the second problem that is h of t is equal to e to the power of minus 3 t into u of t minus 1 because of u of t minus 1 the signal is the decaying exponential signal it exists from 1 to infinity because u of t is the signal is existing from 1 to infinity okay now as per the definition of the memory memoryless system system is said to be memoryless if we put h of t equals to 0 when t is equal to 0 and this condition does not satisfy here a system is said to be not memory less or a memory system not memory less or you can say it is a memory system memory system it is a causal or non causal it is a causal system because this is it is satisfying the condition that h of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0 because this signal exists only from 1 to infinity okay left hand side this signal does not exist and the system is said to be causal okay next to check its stability stability of the system can be calculated using the formula that is integral of minus infinity to plus infinity h of tau into d tau modulus of h on d tau this should be less than infinity that is here is e to the power of minus 3t into u of t minus 1 is the integral of minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power of minus 3 tau into u of tau minus 1 to d tau. Because of this unit step function, integration limit is it is 1 to infinity because it takes this from 1 to infinity e to the power of minus 3 tau into d tau. It is e to the power of minus 3 tau divided by minus 3 vary this limits from 1 to infinity e to the power of minus infinity minus e to the power of minus 3 whole divided by 
minus 3. Answer that is e to the power of minus infinity value is 0. You will get e to the power of minus 3 divided by 3. This is again less than infinity. Hence the system is said to be stable. System is said to be stable. Okay. Next, we'll take next problem that is h of t equals to third problem h of t equals to t into e to the power of minus t into u of t. Again, this is not satisfying the condition for memoryless because memoryless condition is h of t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0. This condition does not satisfy and the system is said to be not memoryless or memory system. Not memoryless. And this signal exists only to the right hand side that is from 0 to infinity. It is decaying exponential signal. And this is that is this is not this is also satisfying this condition that is h of t is equal to 0 when t is less than this condition is satisfied and the system is said to be causal the system is said to be causal next to check its stability apply the formula integral of minus infinity plus infinity h of tau into d tau this must be less than infinity to say it is a stable now that is integral of minus infinity to plus infinity that is tau into e to the power of minus tau into u of tau into d tau because of u of tau you can change the limit at 0 to infinity tau into e to the power of minus tau to d tau this is integrated has that is by the integration formula that is tau keep the first term as it is integration of second term is e to the power of minus tau divided by minus 1 uh, substitute the limits 0 to infinity minus again integral of we should take this e to the power of minus tau divided by minus 1 is there that is minus 1 again it will get the minus 1 and differentiation of tau is 1 apply the limits that is 0 to infinity that is this is infinity e to the power of minus infinity is 0 that will become 0 minus 0 into e to the power of 0 value is 1 again that is also will become 0 minus this minus into minus will become plus here e to the power of minus infinity e to the power of minus infinity minus e to the power of 0 answer will become 1 this is less than infinity hence the system is said to be stable okay we will, let us take the fourth problem that is fourth problem is h of t is equal to e to the power of minus 4 modulus of t okay this signal is exists from minus infinity to plus infinity left hand side this will become modulus of minus t for negative values of t it is minus t for positive values of t it is plus t okay when t is less than 0 it is e to the power of minus 40 when t is greater than or equal to 0, it will e to the power of minus 40. Hence, the signal looks like this increasing exponent signal that it goes with decaying exponent signal. This is 0. This is, this is t here. This value is 1. This is h of t. Here, h of to say it is memory or memoryless, h of t is to say it is memoryless, this condition must be satisfied h of t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 otherwise its value must be 0 this condition is not satisfying here and the system is said to be not memoryless not memoryless and since the signal x the uh, x are left hand side h of t is to say it is a causal h of t must be 0 when t is less than 0 but this condition is not satisfying because left hand side signal exists and system is said to be not causal, sorry, non causal. It is non, it is a non causal system. Okay. Next, to, st uh, to check its stability, stability formula is integral of minus infinity plus infinity modulus of h of tau into d tau. This must be less than infinity. 
that is integral of minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power of minus 4 modulus of tau into d tau. This can be written as integral of minus infinity to 0 e to the power of minus of minus it will become 4 tau into d tau plus integration of 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 4 tau into d tau. In e to the power of 4 tau is it is e to the power of 4 tau divided by 4 substitute the limits minus infinity to 0 plus integration of minus 4 tau divided by minus 4 that is 0 to infinity e to the power of 0 value is 1 1 by 4 is outside e to the power of e to the power of 0 minus e to the power of minus infinity plus minus 1 by 4 is outside we will get e to the power of minus infinity minus e to the power of 0 this value is 0 this value is also 0 you will get 1 by 4 minus of minus will become plus 1 by 4 answer is 1 by 2 it is less than infinity hence the system is said to be stable okay now let us take the next problem that is fifth one h of n is equal to we have that is 1 by 2 whole to the power of n into u of n okay again it is a memory system because signal exists from 0 to plus infinity this condition that is to say it is memoryless h of n must be equal to 0 when n is 0 this condition is not satisfying and system is said to be memory system or you can say it is a not memoryless and it is a causal system because h of n is equal to 0 when n is less than 0 because it, it does not exist with the left hand side hence it is a causal system and to say it is a stable stability we should use this formula summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity that is modulus of h of k must be less than infinity okay that is summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity that is 1 by 2 whole to the power of k into u of k because of u of k limits are k tends from 0 to infinity because u of k exists only from 0 to infinity that is 1 by 2 whole to the power of k and this is 1 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 answer here it is that is 2 that is less than infinity and the system is and the system is stable okay next we will take a sixth problem that is sixth problem here that is h of n equals to n into 1 by 2 whole to the power of n into u of n again to say it is a memory less or memory we should check for the condition h of n is equal to 0 and n must and n is equal to 0 it exists from 0 to infinity this condition is not satisfying and the system is said to be not memory less and it is a causal system because to say it is in causal h of n must be equal to 0 when n is less than 0 this condition is satisfying and system is said to be causal next to check its stability summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity h of k that is it should be less than infinity that is summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity yeah that is k into 1 by 2 whole to the power of k into u of k because of u of k i should change the summation range here it is 0 to infinity k into 1 by 2 whole to the power of k we know that that is summation of that is n tends from 0 to infinity n into a to the power of n is given by a divided by 1 minus a its whole square
e divided by 1 minus k it falls back similarly we can write this is k divided by what is here here is a value is 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 it whole square the simplification here that is it is 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by divided by 1 by 2 whole square answer is 1 divided by 1 by 2 that is nothing but 2 and it is less than infinity and the system is less than infinity and the system is stable next we'll take the seventh problem seventh problem that is h of n equals to e to the power of 2n into u of n minus 1 this exists from 1 to infinity u of n minus 1 means it is u of n minus value is n minus 1 value is 1 from 1 to infinity and this system again does not satisfying this condition any system is said to be memory less when h of n is equal to 0 when n is less than 0 and it is not memory less and it is a causal system because it is satisfying a condition that h of n is equal to 0 when n is less than 0 it exists only from 1 to infinity and it is a causal system and it is a causal system next to check its stability go for the formula that is summation of k tends from minus infinity plus infinity h of k modulus of h of k must be less than infinity here that is u summation of k tends from u of n minus 1 exists from 1 to infinity that's the limits are 1 to infinity e to the power of 2k u of k minus 1 value is 1 this is you can write this one has e to the power of 2 whole to the power of k that is summation of k tends from 1 to infinity e to the power of 2 it whole to the power of k see when k is 1 you'll get e to the power of 2 plus when k is 2 you'll get e to the power of 4 it goes like this e to the power of 2 plus e to the power of 4 plus e to the power of 6 it goes like this it becomes the infinity hence the system is is unstable okay should not apply that to our series formula that is summation of k tends from 1 to infinity a to the power of k is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus a Sorry, a divided by 1 minus a because here e to the power of 2 e to the power of 2 is not less than 1 okay it is greater than 1 that's why this formula cannot be applied it is tending to infinity here and system is unstable next let us take the last problem that is e to the power of h of n is equal to e to the power of minus n This formula with this problem that is e to the power of minus n into cos n into u of n that is e to the power of minus n into cos n into u of n that is again this u it exists from 0 to infinity h of n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 0 this condition is not satisfying to say it is memory less Hence, it is not memoryless system. It's not memoryless system. Okay, and since this satisfying for the causality condition, h of n is equal to zero when n is less than zero, this signal does not exist at the left hand side. Hence, it is a causal system. It is a causal system, and to check its stability. That is summation of k tends from minus infinity to plus infinity modulus of h of k that it must be less than infinity that is 
some because of u of t i should take range from 0 to infinity h of that is e to the power of minus k into cos k okay here when k is 0 we will get e to the power of 0 value is 1 when k is 1 e to the power of minus 1 value is around 0.36 something you will get as k increases e to the power of negative value will tends to 0 okay total sum it will become less than infinity okay. hence system is stable okay this is how we should check the causality memory less and stability conditions for the given system which is described by the impulse rate impulse response.